uh, siblings. So today I'm going to do a Codebreaker tutorial though, so I, that's why I don't have this set in dark mode, because um, I find it easier, and it just seems easier for me anyway, if I do it in light mode, if I'm talking about the, the tutorial. I think it's also easier for people to actually see the details and the colors more clearly, etc. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's that's what's going on. So I hope you guys don't find it too distracting. Um, if you do, uh, uh, there is software. What do I use? I use this thing. Where is it at? It's called Midnight Lizard. Does that show up? No, it doesn't show up. Does it? You guys don't get to see that stuff. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but it's a piece. I mean, I have no affiliation with those people, but it's what I use to force websites into dark mode. Um, so you could apply that and then force this into dark mode if you don't care about the tutorial or the details of it, right? Um, so I am going to try and do this mostly as a whisper because people have been asking for whispers and I know I don't do them very often. You know, that's just me, right? It's my own. I prefer to do soft-spoken. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's valuable enough to give the people what they want, right? So I'm going to be doing this one as a whisper. Um, okay. So the first thing first is that I'm going to start with the super easy mode for explanation. It's not necessarily super easy mode for playing because you're wasting turns in a way. Um, but it's easier for me to explain the strategy, I believe. If I start with this particular way of doing it, I've done this before, and if you guys have seen this before, you'll probably recognize it, or if you see me do a tutorial on this before. So the first thing we do is we start with a single color and see what that gets us. I always work the colors. Where is that? I forgot there's my... Okay, from left to right. So I'm just going to start. Now know that yellow is in it because I've got two colors and I've got two 
two scoring marbles, right? Now, moreover, what I know is that yellow being in the puzzle, but white peg meaning it's not in the correct spot yet, there's only one place left for yellow to try, right? It's in four spots, and none of those four spots are correct. So we know that yellow must go where red is currently occupying. Okay, cool. But since we only have white pegs, we also know that red is in the correct, is in the incorrect spot. So we have to move it. So I'm now going to introduce the next color. So now we've got green in it. Okay. We, sh we expected to get the black peg here, or marble, or whatever. Um, sorry, I don't know why I keep hanging up on that. Um, up, 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 up. Anyway, let's put this here, because we know that, right? We've already deduced that. That's going to be sh for sure. Um, but we also know that, because we've got the two pegs, these correspond to yellow and red. Uh, but So we know that green can't be in the puzzle. we got three colors but only two scoring pegs. We already know that these two are in it. Well, green's out. So let's move red one more space over. And then now let's introduce the light blue. And, yay, okay. Now we know that, well, that light blue is in fact in the puzzle. And we also know that both yellow and red are in the correct spot, since all we have is black pegs. Cool. All right. So we know that red goes here, and we know that yellow goes here. Now, we also know that light blue must go into one of these three spots here. We just don't currently know which one, so I'm just going to guess. And I'm going to arbitrarily, again, I like to go left to right. It just helps me keep track of what I'm doing, you know, keep an order in my mind so that I can, you know, do the logical whatever the nonsense is that we do in our brains to solve these types of problems. Anyway, so again, I'm just going to choose to put the light blue here, right? And again, we know yellow and red are there for good now. We've solved their position. Now I'm going to introduce the dark blue. Okay, I've got three scoring pegs only, right? So, yeah, that means dark blue's not in it, right? I think we're beginning to develop how that works, right? So, we know about yellow and red. They're for sure already. We know light blue's in it, but this white marble indicates that he's not in the right spot yet. Okay, I'm going to try there, just because it's for the next going left or right. And then we know, again, emphasizing we only got three scoring marbles. That means it only refers to these three colors. So dark blue is out. Okay, now here's the thing. There's only two spots left, and there's only two colors left. So we know that both dark purple and magenta go in these spots. Now the thing is, I don't know if they're in the right position here, right? It might be that they go like here, or it might be that they have to get flipped. So what we're going to see here when I click this accept button is that we've either cracked the code. I just realized that I have in fact made an error in my explanation. I know that light blue is in it, and it can't go here. I don't know, however, which of these two spots it goes in, right? So it could be that light blue goes there, and I just flip these two, right? Or it could be that light blue goes here, and I should just switch these two. All right, you see what I'm saying here? Basically what this boils down to is that because I started with only one color at a time, it eats up guesses, right? So I'm going to run out of guesses if I don't guess correctly here.
there's no logical reason to pick light blue going in one or the other here, right? So uh, I'm just going to say uh, that maybe I did guess right with the light blue, and I'm going to flip the purple and magenta. So let's just do these three. Well, we know these two, right? Okay. I'm going to say magenta, light blue, and purple, right? Okay, now again, I'm just guessing that light blue goes here. That might be a mistake. So let's see what we get here. All right, see? It was wrong because the light blue went here, not there. Anyway, so I will try this again. Okay, and again, I'm going to do at least one more of this with uh, just starting with one color. Um, and then I'll... I'll, then I'll move forward and, you know, we'll see how it goes. So again, I'm just going to start with red. Okay, we know that red is in the puzzle. We just don't know which spot. So I arbitrarily guess here. upstairs. I'll, I'll see how loud that is. I may cut that part out. Otherwise, um, I like leaving in weird ambient noises as long as they're not super loud and intrusive. And for me, that kind of stuff adds. And so here's more of it. I think that's just people walking around upstairs now. Okay, well, we'll see. Either I'll edit all that out and you won't hear any of this, or I'll keep it in, and, uh, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to do just a quick tangent here, and then I'll get back to the tutorial. Um, just as an example of, I've mentioned this before, but, um, Queen of Serpent. Okay, Queen of Serene. It's a, a chakra healing one, and in it, um, there's a motorcycle noise that's from outside uh, that goes by, and I really quite like it, and the way she recorded it, the 
a motorcycle always has a very natural sound, like you kind of imagine it moving through space outside wherever she is. Anyway, so these sounds aren't too intrusive. At least by my judgment, anyway. I will leave them in, and uh, hopefully um, it'll work. And again, if not, I'll just edit this out and you won't hear it at all. Okay, uh, so um, let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so... this line here, we know that those three colors are in the puzzle, okay? And so there's in here, all right? Two of them are in the correct spot and one of them is not. However, since we only have three scoring marbles over here, that means green is not in the puzzle. Okay, so I have to pick which one of these three is correct and or excuse me, which two of those three is correct in the position and which one needs to move. Now, I have no real reason to believe that it, you know, it's any of them in any particular way, so I'm just going to guess arbitrarily that it's yellow and orange, and then I'm going to move the red one. Okay, so... Let's introduce the light blue. And accept. All right. Mm. Okay. giving me grief because I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not going to whine. Um, bop, 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 bop. <sighs> okay, now what is this giving us here? I can't, it can't be, I think, that both of these are right. Let's follow this logic out. If both of these are correct, that means that the two white marbles refer to the light blue and the red, but red is out of spaces to try, right? If I switch it with this, that was where it was just at, and we, you know, said that that was that white thing, right? Because we're saying the guess is that these two are the black marbles. All right, so it can't go here, and it can't go there, right? Because well, we deduced that way back here. So mm, it can't be that it's both of these. So I gotta figure something else out. So it means that the red was correct back here. And now one of these is correct and one of them is wrong. Well, I'm going to say that it is the yellow that is correct. And here's my reasoning. If the orange is correct, yellow has nowhere to go, does it? Right? Because remember, orange, or excuse me, yellow can only go in these two, one of these two spots. Because of this line here, right? It can't go in either of those, or any of those three, right? So if orange was correct, that would mean yellow can't go here, which means it would have to go there. Okay, contradiction time. So it's not that orange, orange is not correct, okay? I hope I made that clear. Uh, so I'm going to say that yellow is correct then, right? Which means now that orange has only one spot left. So orange should go over here. And now, that means that, okay, back on this line, orange is a white marble, and red is a white marble, which means that light blue is one of the black marbles, along with the yellow, so it's going to have to be this one. Okay, and then now let's introduce the next color, which I'm going to just, again, go in order, and see if it's dark blue. Okay. It's not dark blue, but this tells me that my thinking and logic was all pretty good, right? I suppose. 
suppose it could be that my logic was completely erroneous and I just got lucky, but I don't think so. I think it was a result of my logic. Okay, we still know that that's the wrong color. So now I'm gonna just we're gonna have code cracked this time. Because the only color left to try is the magenta. enough of doing it with the single color mode at the start. So I'm going to do a new one. All right, okay. And I'm going to I'm going to show you uh, the method I use. Now you can use any combination of guessing colors that you think is good for you to do depending on, you know, the peculiarities of your own imagination and thinking processes. But the one I like to do is start with three colors. And this is really just a result of, you know, having played this game a lot, I tend to get, you know, I won't necessarily get the lowest score by this methodology. You know, um, you know I've never really sat down and tried to figure out if it's the most effective in a mathematical way. Um, but it's the most effective for me as far as getting results, right? And just the idea of, you know, scientific observation, right? Trial and error sort of thing. Um, I have a pretty high success rate starting with this methodology. Um, that may take me all the way to the end, um, but I usually can, can get there unless I just goof up and make some silly mistake somewhere. So let's just go along with this and then I'll show you what I do. So I'm just trying these, try three red, and then toss in these two, and let's see what we get. Okay, this is actually kind of fortuitous, isn't it? All three colors are in here. Now we just have to figure out where. So we know, since they're all white scoring marbles, it means that none of them are in the correct spot. They're in the puzzle, just not in the right place. So the good news is um, red, because I tried it in three different spots, only has two places left to try. So it's either here where the orange is, or was, or however you want to think of that, or where the yellow is there, right? So I'm going to start with this one just to see. And now let's just put orange again, because there's white pegs. Orange has to go somewhere other than that. Yellow has to go somewhere other than that. So I'm just trying two spots. And again, I tend to go left to right. And then now I'll introduce green. Okay, since I only have three scoring marbles, right, I know that those refer to these three colors, and that means that green is not in the puzzle. Right, does that make sense? So, the other thing we know is that red only has one more spot, right? So red has to go there, so we will get one black marble for this one for sure. Okay, now Let's just try these. I'm going to switch yellow over to here, and I'll put orange over to there, and then now I'm going to introduce light blue. All right, now let's see what we get. Now, oh, th these two choices, the yellow and the orange, again, are just sort of arbitrary. You know what I mean? I'm just starting with the yellow over to the left, um, and then I'm moving the orange the next available spot to the right because it can't go there. I jumped it there, right? But you, you could have put these in any spot they haven't been before and it would have been fine. Like you could have put um, yellow here and orange there or something like that. I, I, maybe I'm getting too confusing. I just picked these spots because it suits, again, the yellow all the way to the left because it's available to it now and then moving the orange just to its next available spot and then now introducing the light blue just because it's the next color, and I'm having it take up the available spots. Now let's see what we get. Okay, cool. All four colors are in the puzzle, and they're all in the 
correct spot. So let's do the yellow, the orange, and the red. That's pretty straightforward. But now we have to choose. Light blue is correct. Uh, we just don't know which of these two. Right? It's in one of them because it's in the correct spot. It's just uh, which one. So again, I'm just going to arbitrarily choose the left one. And then now, introduce a dark blue. Hey, what do you know? We got lucky. Okay, let's do... Okay, I'll do at least one more of this. Alright, again, I'm just going to keep going with my preferred method. So starting with three red ones. And then plugging in the orange and the yellow. And seeing what I get. Okay, only two of them are in here, right? So I'm going to just start with red, and then I'm going to also use orange. Again, it's just arbitrary because they're the first two here, you know what I mean? It could it's just as easily be red and yellow, or it could easily be orange and yellow, right? You know, or red and, yeah, just, yeah. orange and yellow, red and yellow, right? Whatever. Um, I'm just choosing these two. Okay, and now let's introduce the next color. I only have one scoring marble right here. That means I made a wrong choice when I picked from these down here. So, first of all, we know that green is out, right? Because you can't, if I have three colors to choose from and I choose two, I, and I know that two of them are correct, I can't choose two wrong colors. Does that make sense? Right? If two of these are in here, just not in the right spot, and I choose any random two, right? at least one of them has to be correct. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, so, um, but what that also tells us is since green is out and it's only one of these two, it means that yellow has to be in it. So I'm going to stick yellow all the way over here. I'm going to suggest that it's red. Again, it's just arbitrary. I don't know which one of the two, so I'm just going to try red. And since it only has one more spot to try, I'll put it over here. So if I've guessed correctly, I should get at least one black marble for this red. So if I get anything that doesn't have a black marble in it, as far as my scoring over here, it means that red is not in the puzzle, right? Because it can't go in these three. It can't go in that one, right, because of all the white pegs, right? It means it's not in the right spot. There's only one spot left. So, right, okay. Let's introduce the light blue and see what we get. Okay. I could say that the red goes here. Now, it is possible that I guessed wrong and that it is not red that is in fact yellow and orange, and it's one of these light blue that is correct. However, I'm going to start with the assumption of that I guessed correct here, right? And that's what the black marble refers to, and that yellow just has to go into one of the other three spots it hasn't been in yet. And I'm going to just choose this one, okay? All right, so now, here's a good thing though, I've only got three slots left. And there's only three colors left, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in and see what I get. Okay, so the guess that red was the right thing here for the black marble was right on the money. Okay, so we know for sure it goes there. Now we have a bit of a, a problem to sort out here. I know that all of the colors are in here, and I know that three of them are correct, but two of them are in it, but not in the right spot. What I like to do in this kind of situation is I just put them all back where they were in the previous guess here, because what I want to look at, since I have only two of them and not in the right spot, that means I just have to flip two, and the only one I can't really flip is red. Okay, so which two would I like to flip? 
I'm going to start just because it's easy for me conceptually. Um, but you could choose any two again that just don't include the red. And I'm going to flip these two. Right? So that just guessing that I got lucky by guessing the yellow and I got lucky by guessing the purple. And these two were unlucky guesses. So I'm just switching them around. Now let's see what we get. Because, you know, that there's no... Well, let's see what we got. Because this is all, I'm just, this is all guessing at this point, except for the red. All right, I was wrong. So those two were, in fact, correct, right? Does that make sense? Since the only one I know that's right is the red one, right? And I moved these two and lost two scoring black marbles. So I'll put those back. I just did that wrong, didn't I? Doink, doink. Okay, so I want it to go back to here and back to there, and that these two are, in fact, the ones that need to get flipped. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm going to go through it one more time just to, you know, just to solidify. I hope I'm not overthinking this stuff and making it too brutal for you guys. Um, but we know for sure that the red goes here, right? Because it was the only spot for it left. So, boom, red has to be the right one. And it means that all four of these were wrong, right? Which means, okay, yikes, I have to put these two back because that will restore the black marbles, right? And then now I'm going to switch those two. And this should be code cracked. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, I've got a half an hour. You know, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to call it a day. I had two colors out of these three in the puzzle. One of any two I choose has to be a correct one. So one of these two has to be right. And that means that green is out. But it also means that yellow is in the puzzle for sure. Now, which one is correct? Okay. It could be either one. I'm just going to guess that I picked right on the red one. Right? And then just introduce the yellow one uh, into a new spot. Okay. <laughs> All right. That is getting kind of... Uh, I was hoping for something better than that, but okay. Yeah, you get what you get. So, I'm going to assume the red is still correct. And I'm going to move the yellow over one. And then we know then if th these guesses are correct, then light blue is out. But right, this is all conditional at this point, based on some assumptions. So I only have three slots left, and there are only three colors left. So I will just simply introduce them. Okay, we did guess correctly. Now, all right, I'm going to, all right, we're, there's still a lot of possibilities for the positions here, right? For example, it could be that the 
Costello is correct, and that one of these two is correct, and that red really goes all the way over there, and let's see if that can actually work. No, it cannot. Okay, can you see how that was an error in thinking on my part? Because going back to this line here, there's only one of the colors in here, right? Oops, there's only one of the colors in here, um, and whichever one it is has to be in the right spot. See, I should have noticed that before, right? Okay, so we know that red has to go there. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, but now we're down to what's going on with these four. It could be that the yellow got put in the right spot, which I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess that, you know, um, but it, it might not be correct. But so let's just guess this. This we know for sure. This is a guess. All right, but based on this guess, these three all have to be in a different spot. What I typically do in this situation is just kind of, I think of it as being rotated around, right? They just all get moved over one to the next available spot in kind of a rotational manner. And now let's just, let's see what we get. Okay, so it wasn't yellow. So let's try red. All right. Let me go back to the dark blue here. Okay, now the good news is since we know that yellow wasn't, doesn't go here, so we know yellow doesn't go here, right, because of that white peg. We know that yellow doesn't go here because we just deduce that here. This black has to refer to this red. So that means one of these white marbles refers to this yellow. And so it means it's not there. Okay, so yellow can't go here, can't go here. It also can't go here, right? So the only place left for it to go is there. So yellow has to go there, right? Now the blue here is just a guess, right? Because it could be this blue, right? Or it could be this purple goes here, right? Because I got two black marbles there. Right, but I'm just going to guess that it's this one. And then what do we have left? Well, since the dark blue is over there, um, okay. Obviously, purple doesn't go here. Purple doesn't go there. The only place left for the purple to go is there. And then the only place left for the magenta to go is there. Now, it could be that, or it could be that this purple is correct, and then we'd have to move the uh, magenta and the light blue. All right, wait, hang on a second. I think I just noticed a thing, right? Uh, let's try this possibility real quick. If purple is correct, Right? From this line down here, that means the light blue can't go here, and light blue can't go over there because of the yellow, which would mean the light blue would have to go here, and magenta would have to go there. Ha ha! Magenta can't go there, can it? Because we know that the red, the black scoring marble there refers to this red, which means, you see what I'm saying? Magenta can't go there. So, this was the correct thing to do. Oops, wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. We determined that it wasn't the blue. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. We determined that it wasn't the yellow. Man, I just confused myself, so let me back up. All right. Since we tried the yellow, right? And let me go back through that. try the purple here as being this black marble and that black marble are those two. That means then blue has to go here and that means that magenta has to go there, but magenta can't go there because of this line. Okay. Now we know purple doesn't go here. We know that yellow doesn't go here. So it must be that dark blue goes here, but that means purple goes here and then magenta goes there. Okay, I hope that made sense and I didn't make it worse by having an error in my own thinking there along the way. Um, anyway, so let's see what we get. I think this should be code correct. Okay, there we go. Um, well, I hope that worked. I hope you guys got some uh, help in understanding the game for those of you who like the tutorials. And for the rest of you who just wanted the 
whisper. Um, yeah, well, there you go. Uh, I whispered this one. I, you know, I hope I did okay on the whispering. Since I don't do it very often, I'm, you know, I'm not as confident with my whisper as I am with my soft speaking voice. So I hope it worked out for you guys. I hope it was relaxing. For those of you who get the tingles, I hope it was tingly. And for those of you who needed, you know, just it to be sort of a lullaby to get you to sleep, I hope that worked for you too. Although if you're already asleep, you're not listening to this now, are you? <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm going to call this done. Um, let me know in the comments if this was a failure as far as tutorials go, and then I'll try and do another one. Uh, well, no, I'll just do another one. I'll probably do these periodically from time to time. Um, I don't know that I'll always do the tutorials as a whisper. Uh, and, well, in fact, those of you who are still listening and paying attention, um, let me know if, uh, well, whether this works or not. If the whisper is maybe a good uh, strategy for um, doing the tutorials. Uh, anyway, let me know. I hope it was good for everybody. And, uh, well, aloha, siblings. <laughs>